Jenny Mosque. The Yama Mosque in the city of Jenny Mali in West Africa is called the largest adobe building in the world and is an extraordinary adobe architecture. Jana Mali Grand Mosque in West Africa, with 100 meters length and 40 meters width, has been called the largest adobe building in the world. The architecture of this mosque and other adobe buildings of the city was carried out by skilled artists and craftsmen from different generations, and they were somehow, they were made to be impervious to rainwater. The walls of the Grand Mosque in Gina, which have a diameter of 41 to 61 centimetres based on their height, are made of mud clay and are artistically made in such a way that it gives a beautiful appearance to this mosque. In the construction of the Jana Mosque, palm tree branches were used to protect it from cracking due to humidity and heat. The walls of this mosque are also insulated against the heat of the day and the cold of the night. The construction of this building dates back to 1907 and due to the Islamic architectural style used in it, many architectural engineers consider this Grand Mosque to be the greatest architectural achievement of the so-called coastal Sudanese style. This mosque was rebuilt in 1907 AD after the occupation of Mali by France in the 18th century and this mosque has 99 columns consisting of the names of God. It has 114 openings which are derived from the number of surahs of the Holy Quran and these openings are in most months of the year. It is used for the ventilation of the mosque in the year of drought. Every year the Muslims of the region gather together and rebuild this mosque with the help of each other. This mosque is not one of the oldest mosques in this country, but it is considered one of the largest mosques in Mali. This mosque cannot be compared with any of the mosques of West African countries. Some prominent Islamic architects believe that the conical minarets of Mali mosques were inspired by this mosque. This mosque has three tall box-like minarets that are raised on the main wall. Each minaret has a staircase that leads to the roof and the top of each of them has a conical shape which is made of ostrich eggs. Every year in the month of April, an epic event called Mud Coated Day is held. On this day, the walls of the mosque are completely reconstructed with mud. The annual reconstruction of the Great Mosque of Gina has become a festival during which all the residents of this city gather and they take turns to rebuild the mosque for several days. During this time, while the young and middle-aged men are repairing the pipes and wooden stairs of the city's big mosque, women are also supplying water to them. Children play around the mosque and with the tools that are going to be used in its reconstruction and the elderly supervise the reconstruction and repair work. This great mosque undoubtedly plays a central role in the lives of the people of Gina, which is a city supported by UNESCO. The city of Jena is located in a plain between the Niger and Bani rivers. The current building of the mosque was completed in 1907. Today, the influence of Islam is clearly visible in the city of Jena, and most of the students study the Quran. Grand Mosque in Mali, which is on the list of the Common Heritage of Humanity of the United Nations Scientific, Cultural and Educational Organization. This mosque is one of the most magnificent adobe mosques in the world. If you have a chance, visit this unique building and comment your opinion about this adobe and adobe mosque.